Uh, Professor Obigwe, can we have your one sentence? Yes, uh, just to say that um, universities do not, they are not standalone. And in my country, for, for, country, for instance, uh, sustainability must address local concerns of impunity, good governance, justice, equity. Otherwise, the good work that universities are doing will be a mirage. We need to connect these dots. Universities must connect to business, to government. Thank you. Wonderful. Professor Rimas. Look, I think we, we have a big challenge. Uh, the path that we're on is not sustainable. We're burning the planet. You, you look at what we're doing in schools is not very effective. 30% of the students in PISA say their life has no meaning, has no purpose. Even when we try to teach about SDG, it doesn't work. I review here evidence on the effectiveness of climate change curriculum. And when you only teach students the science, the facts, it leaves them hopeless. It gives them they cannot, they cannot do anything about it. It's only when you combine, as Professor, as Professor Zamani was saying, when you combine knowledge and deep understanding of the facts with hope that people actually become engaged. And hope comes from engaging in activities that show them that they can do something about it. Now, the question then is, how do we tackle this complex challenge, which is complex for the reasons Professor Zamani has explained well, and because of the scale, 1.3 billion people. We begin somewhere. Let me give you an example of how breaking a complex problem into simple steps can help. We have 28,000 universities in the world. Suppose only 10% decided today that we're gonna have one professor work with five students, as I did here, developing curriculum for schools. That would produce in one year, 14,000 specific curriculum resources to help schools teach about climate change which is more than the entire UN system has produced in its entire history to support teachers to do that. So I think the thing to do about this problem is stop contemplating it and just start leading by example. Do something because in the action is the path to hope, which is what we need to become engaged. Stop contemplating the problem because contemplation alone leads to paralysis. Thank you. Excellent. Professor Zamagni, any final words from you? I, I totally agree with Fernando. That is why I like the word connection. Connection means uh, knowledge joint to action. So far, we have kept the two elements uh, separated. But that was not at the beginning. Uh, that is why I mentioned Aristotle. We have to put uh, knowledge at the service of action. And action should presuppose that knowledge. That is why we need a cooperative uh, strategy with the world of business. Because otherwise, our people, when they get out of the university, unless they found a place, a working place, where, let's say, the CEO is already acquainted with these ideas, he or she will be frustrated. And I think that Fernando is right. University should. Uh, open these uh, bridges with uh, the world of companies and in more general um, institutions. Excellent. Thank Let you. Let me try again if uh, Professor Jose can uh, hear us and if we can hear him. Uh, would you have a final thought to leave with the audience? Pasado cinco, pardon, el pasado 5 de junio, el Papa Francisco celebró una nueva universidad que no da títulos ni carreras, que no enseña cosas, sino la propia vida. Se llama la Universidad del Sentido. Recuperemos el sentido en nuestras universidades y en el sistema educativo, y si recuperamos el sentido, la sociedad va a ser no solamente más justa, sino que la paz va a ser posible. Muchas gracias. Excellent. And let's give the final word to our youth representative, Teresa. What do you want to leave the audience with? My one sentence would be, I implore you to think about what your role is in leaving no one behind. That is the high level panelist about what are we doing about data and accessibility? And for your university students, what am I doing for marginalized students, communities around my campus that do not have the privilege that I have? Thank you very much.
What a wonderful note to end on. So thank you very much. I know we have breakout uh, sessions that are gonna happen now. So um, I wanna conclude by saying that I think the, there are a few themes that really stood out in today's session. The first was uh, the need to use and to in create an environment where university students are actually doing much more than just learning, uh, but they're actually going out and teaching and solving and actually implementing uh, the, the solutions that they need to so that we actually make a difference at scale. And I think the scale question was the other big theme that came out that there's so much to do, there's so little time, um, and we have actually not been successful over the last several decades in, in addressing some of these issues that we believe are so important. And finally, the need to make sure that education as we see it is focused on values that teachers teach, that they, are, that, they, that they integrate and practice what they are trying to teach and that they have the support that they need. And finally, as Teresa reminded us, each one of us needs to do something today. On that note, thank you so much for joining and Sam, I hand it back to you.